Hey everyone, this is Peter with Carries.net, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at the pre-installed apps that come with each of these devices that you see in front of you. The Samsung Focus from AT&T on the right, and the HTC HD7 on the left from T-Mobile. These are going to be the, app, the apps that the phones come pre-installed with out of the box, and we're just going to take a look at both of them, see which ones you can find on the market, even though they're not pre-installed, and then again, just kind of walk through some of the more proprietary um, individual apps that each carrier has. So let's jump into it. Um, as you'll notice on the top, the phone, the contacts, hotmail, and messaging always come with every Windows Phone 7 device. Um, that's going to also be true for the Internet Explorer, Xbox Live, Calendar, Pictures, Zoom, Music and Videos, Marketplace, and finally the Me tile, which essentially is your social hub for yourself. So those are the ones that are going to come across all Windows Phone 7 devices. And now let's jump into the more proprietary apps. So first off we have AT&T UVerse Mobile. And it, that is going to be AT&T's TV streaming application. And on the left you'll see T-Mobile's TV app. So we'll jump into that. And we'll kind of move that off to the side so you can see. Okay, so we'll accept. Oh, and we have to update the latest on that. So as that's updating, let's see what on the left. We'll start our trial for T-Mobile. There we go. Okay, so live channels, as you can see on the bottom, we have Fox News, MSNBC, ABC News Now, um, a lot of reporting sites. Uh, on the right, you'll see Disney Channel, we will see the mic, um, a couple other kind of radio looking stations it would seem. And let's just try one to show you what it's like. And again, we are on a Wi-Fi connection right now, so let's go to Fox Sports. And now that our download's done on the right with our focus, let's go into that. Here, let's turn up the volume so you guys can see this. Okay, now, on the right you'll see the UVerse application from AT&T. So while this doesn't offer live streaming TV, this will do streaming TV shows that you follow along with. So here's some examples. It has Cake Boss, it has Sports Nation, um, again, College Football, Phineas and, I think it's Phineas and Ferb. Um, yeah, there we go. Again, it does a summary. You can only stream TV shows for the AT&T Focus. I forgot, sorry about that. You can only stream it if you sign up for the service. So I believe it's something like $5 or free for the first 30 days, and then after that it is, uh, I believe, $10 a month. Um, you also have to, s you, or you can get it, I think, free through your AT&T UVerse account if you already have that. So as you can see on the left, the T-Mobile is having a little bit of problems with the ESPN. So let's see if we can boot up another TV show and then move on to the next app. Just work through it real fast. Let's see if we can't get any of these. I don't think we can. I think you have to, yeah, pretty sure you have to sign up for the, for the trial period. So let's go to CNBC and let's see if we can... Okay, so as you can see, so it's streaming live TV from the CNBC TV channel. So those are going to be the differences between the TV apps that come with each phone. Um, as you'll see on the left, the HD7 comes pre-installed with Netflix and Slacker Radio. On the right, the AT&T Focus does not... I mean, their answer to Netflix is the AT&T UVerse Mobile, and then instead of Slacker Radio coming pre-installed, they have their own AT&T Radio. Now, on the Focus, you can get both Netflix and Slacker Radio through the Windows Phone 7 market. And again, on the right, we can't do AT&T Radio until we're signed in with our 3G network, and on the left, you'll see the Slacker Radio requires an email and password. So just to save on time, um, you guys can check these out yourselves. The, again, the Slacker Radio is pretty standard from the screenshots that we've seen across the board of what it looks like on every platform. And so let's not go into that to waste your guys' time. Uh, next on T-Mobile, we have our family room application. This is going to allow family members who are connected through this application to post sticky notes, 
to post schedules. Uh, so again, sticky notes at the chalkboard, you can post schedules on your calendar. Everyone can upload and share pictures together. Um, and again, this is only for T-Mobile devices that have that family room application. Uh, going down even further, on the bottom, the last two things that we we're going to have as differences between these two devices is the AT&T is going to have the GPS navigator, whereas the T-Mobile is going to have the Telenav GPS. Again, here at Keris, we like Bing Maps over these two proprietary apps, but let's boot them up really fast. Um, as you'll see, AT&T's is is powered by Telenav, whereas the T-Mobile one is just the Telenav, so they should be about the same in the end in terms of reliability and service. Let's wait till this terms of service gets through. And then we'll... Okay, so yeah, as you can see, AT&T just rebranded the Telenav, whereas T-Mobile just kept it um, bare bones, as you can see, and they should be the same when we look into it. Yeah, so they have the same tracking, although on the right, it seems as though the maps are a little more less, or sorry, excuse me, a little less detailed than on the left. Um, so those are the GPS apps that both phones come installed with. Again, you can always use the Bing maps by scrolling to the right and going to the maps. And again, you can always hold down on these applications and you can pin those to the start so that you have that and then you can just take off the proprietary navigator. Um, the last thing on our list to see today is the difference between Samsung Now and the HTC Hub. Both these applications are the manufacturer's proprietary apps. Both deal with weather, news, and stocks. As you can see on the right with Samsung Now, it's scrollable between those sections. Oh, sorry, I clicked on it a little too hard. Um, news and then stocks back to weather. Whereas on the left with HTC, it shows the leather. It shows the leather. Shows the weather with a little bit more um, detail, with a little bit more animations, a little more flair. But it does not have the news or the stocks on this main page. So you will have to go into other HTC apps to get those news or stock tickers. And again, this brings you to the HTC app market. So again. This is the comparison between the Samsung Focus from AT&T and the HTC HD7. Uh, look to our YouTube channel, Net, for more videos similar to this, or go to www.carace.net for the full article and other articles containing reviews, comparisons, and news regarding Samsung phones. Thanks for watching, and let us know if you have any questions or want to see something else compared in the comments.